So what I'm doing here is actually catching up after we had a 40 year rain event. I don't know if it actually was a 40 year rain event, but I have a family member who has a big culvert and a creek and said for the first time in 40 years, the creek ran over that culvert. Everything around our homestead was flooded, including a swimming pool in our basement. And so I'm siphoning the water out now. So I've got the water siphoned out of the basement and there's still a tiny bit down in here. I have the power back on. Um, there's like just this much water left in there. So we don't have a swimming pool in the basement anymore. It was a brief joy, but now it's gone. I have two things I want to do. One, I want to prep to lay block under this end of the house. If you look, this end of the house is floating. They're sitting on four little bridge supports. Last night, in the middle of flooding rain, Grace and I came down and salvaged some concrete that had gotten wet uh, when the wind blew the plastic off the concrete. We got it in there. We actually have a solid footer, which is amazing. That's done. Um, today, that's what I want to do is actually lay the block out on there and also need to harvest onions. We have a huge onion harvest from our now kind of defunct garden. So I'm gonna try to do that with the kids, but first I've gotta to run to town. There's just a bunch of stuff on my list, but those two things I really wanna to get to. And I guess I'm the trash man, which that's fine, but this van is just packed with stinky trash that's been built, that's built up for like a week um, with Bree and I running back and forth to the hospital and being busy. I've gotta get rid of that because this van, nobody even wants to get in it. Okay, so here's a, here's a question for you guys. I'm really curious on your feedback on this. For the past month, I've been exclusively shooting video on my iPhone and editing it on my iPhone. So my question is, honest answers everyone, did you notice? What was that? Um, so did you notice this is all I've used to film the last about 15 videos? Anyway, leave a comment, let me know. Did you notice the difference in the quality, in the sound? Uh, the editing's been pretty simple. So just, I'd love some feedback on that. And I'd like to challenge you, if, if you're um, holding back from a creative vision that involves video because you don't have a camera, if you have a phone, then quit it. <laughs> Shoot video, tell story, have fun with your phone. I got some hay. Okay, I got my hay, took my trash, now I'm gonna try to get enough block into the house that the next day I'm working I can just lay it, hopefully. Well, that's not impressive progress. <laughs> that's terrible, actually. But it's time to harvest onions because I had an appointment with my kids for two things. The first one is something I want done, harvesting onions. The second, something they want. What are you doing? Hi. Do you know what your shirt says? It says raised in a barn. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means, raised in a barn? I don't 
my shoes. All right, don't get in that mud with those nice shoes on. You sh you had sh oh my goodness. Hey. All right, I'll help you get their shoes out. Here's a little clue. Don't get in the deep mud like this. Oh, there's the front of your shoe. Suction. All right, go get your shoes washed in the creek and your feet and your hands. Right now, that's too much. Get out of there. Buddy, get out, please. The job we're doing here is picking up this year's onion harvest really late. Um, there's a bunch of onions. I'm a little worried that some of them may be rotten because they've just been sitting out. It's been really moist. It's rained a ton. Honestly, probably a month ago they should have been in. So we're going to go through them one at a time and check them. It would have been better if we harvest these onions earlier. But look what we got here. We have the biggest crop of onions. And I don't just mean the most pounds. I mean the biggest onions that we have ever grown. Um, that's amazing. Look how big those are. They're huge. And it's not, I didn't just hand pick these. It's like, this one is huge. This one is huge. I'm really curious to see how these onions will keep compared to the ones that we grew last year. Because the ones we grew last year, we weren't the happiest with how they kept these though. Man, if these keep, these might be the perfect onions. They're so huge. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. Um, how are the babies? They're good. I'm getting ready to hold the royal. Okay, good. Oh, the monitor's beeping. Hey, question. What variety of onions did we grow this year and last year? The same ones, candy. Oh, we grew the same ones again? Yeah. Okay. Could we not find other seed? I just, my brain couldn't handle something. I just got the same thing because I was pregnant and sick and couldn't deal with it. Okay, that's fine. And then they're called candy... Candy onions. They're the candy onions. Okay, cool. Thank you. He's from Dixondale Farms. From Dixondale Farms. Awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. Talk to you later. Bye. You're not finding any onions, are you, Justice? No. Have you found any yet, Brighton? Yep. Hey, listen. Feel every one and make sure there's, it's not mushy. If it's mushy, don't put it in the wheelbarrow, okay? This one you could consider putting against the fence. I have a, a mushy pile against the fence. Destroy against the fence. Look at these Destroy things, it. guys. Look at this onion. Wow, that's huge. These are way bigger than last year. Can I go check on the comfrey bird? Check on your, yeah, comfrey. Oh, we got eaten, but we'll grow them back. Here's the biggest one I've seen so far. Big onion. It's a really big onion. Some of these are just buried in weeds. It's like you can't even see them. And yes, weeds make it so onions don't grow very well, but if the onions grow first and then the weeds grow, as in this case, it works out okay. Case in point right here, you can grow a lot of onions. I mean, look at these weeds here. These are like thick stemmed, you know, cattle wrestler weeds, just tough and strong but these onions still had mostly grown before the weeds took over the whole bed do we have a problem with weeds i mean i would say yes but is it really a problem i mean it is does it keep us from growing a good garden no 
Alrighty guys, this is our harvest. 2021 onion harvest. Look at these. These are the two biggest onions that we got. And I have actually never seen onions this big and we grew them in the garden this year. And uh, I mean, look at that, that's huge. I don't have tiny hands and it's like filling my hand. This is about the size almost of a small pumpkin. All right, here's our load. Let's take it down the hill. Oh, there's our waste pile. It's pretty small compared to what we got. At this point, the audio on all my footage disappeared. I think it happened when my son dropped the camera. Maybe the cord got unplugged. So here, we're laying onions out on the floor of the barn. They need to cure, which really is just drying a little bit in a pretty warm place. We like to put them on the wood floor of the barn. If you put them on plastic, when one of them rots, the juice can spread out to the neighbors. Next, the kids and I played a game of hide and seek, and Justice thought he would hide right behind me. So we were just goofing off. You know, I've been thinking, even though our garden this year was a bit of a disaster and largely a failure, the onions were a huge success. I think sometimes Bree and I don't give ourselves enough credit for what we're doing right, what we're succeeding at right now in this hard time in our life with the babies in the hospital and us stretched so far i think our biggest success our number one top accomplishment is not losing our minds not only not losing our minds but living in a way day to day and loving each other so that we can be there for the babies and for our kids not just now but over the long haul because this hard time isn't going to go away soon I mean the babies will be in the NICU for another two and a half months or so but then after that guess what we have twins at home and that in and of itself is a very hard experience right now my mind is on home home I want to bring the babies home I want to be home with my family I want to make a home for my family that's what I'm fighting for guys thanks for joining us we'll see you soon